treatment for fatty infiltration of the liver. Your liver cells normally contain a small amount of stored fat. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, Nifold, describes abnormal accumulation of fat in liver cells not caused by excessive alcohol consumption or another liver condition, such hepatitis B or C. The two types of Nifold include non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, and non-alcoholic statohepatitis, NASH. These conditions differ in that there is no inflammation or liver cell damage with Nifold but both are present with NASH. Risk factors for Nifold include type 2 diabetes, prediabetes, high blood pressure, overweight or obesity, and abnormal blood fat levels. Treatment centers primarily on lifestyle modification to improve underlying risk factors to reduce the likelihood of developing liver scarring and cirrhosis. Weight Reduction Weight reduction is a cornerstone of NIFL treatment. A pooled analysis of eight studies published in April 2012 in the journal Diabetologia reported that just a 7% reduction in body weight resulted in decreased liver cell fat and liver disease improvement. The authors noted that improvements increased in parallel with the percentage of weight reduction. Reducing your caloric intake helps with Nifold because it mobilizes the stored fat in your liver cells. In addition to liver disease improvements, weight reduction in these studies was associated with improvements in markers for heart disease risk, such as levels of blood fats. This is important because people with Nifold are at increased risk for heart disease. Approach According to January 2018 practice guidance from the American Association for the Study of Liver Diseases, ALD, there is insufficient evidence to recommend a specific weight reduction diet for the treatment of Nifold. However, the guidance states that data suggest decreasing caloric intake by at least 30% or by approximately 750 to 1000 calories daily results in reduced liver cell fat. Physical Activity the ALD guidance for Nefold management states that the combination of a reduced calorie diet and moderate intensity exercise provides the greatest opportunity for sustained weight reduction. This is likely because exercise helps increase your metabolic rate and burns calories. There is also some evidence that exercise might reduce liver cell fat even with minimal to no associated weight loss, as reported in a July 2012 Journal of Hepatology article. Medications and Supplements Pioglitazone As of January 2018, ALD guidance includes only one prescription medication for consideration to specifically treat NASH. Pioglitazone, Octos, was developed as type 2 diabetes medication but has been shown to improve liver inflammation and other indicators of liver damage in people with NASH. ALD states this medication may be used to treat biopsy-proven NASH in people with or without type 2 diabetes after a discussion of potential risks and benefits. Potential risks include weight gain and bone loss in women. ALD does not currently recommend pioglitazone for people with NIFL. Vitamin E An excess of free radicals, chemicals that can lead to cellular injury when present in abnormally high concentrations, is thought to contribute to liver damage in people with NASH. Vitamin E is a potent antioxidant, a substance that neutralizes free radicals. Other Considerations As people with Nifold usually have other health challenges and face an increased risk for heart disease, the comprehensive medical treatment plan often includes other therapies. This might include medications for diabetes, high blood pressure and or blood fat abnormalities, depending on individual circumstances. Additionally, Research is ongoing and treatment recommendations for Nifold are likely to change as new research data become available. If you have any questions or concerns, talk with your healthcare provider. Visit the website. Click below.